Boy, this is a writer's block episode if ever I heard one. I am literally just winging it because I have no idea what to say for chocolate lava cake. Because it's just like not fully cooked cake, you know? Like, it's a bit finicky, but I think if you follow along, then we'll probably not screw it up. At least not like I did. Anyway, first we're preheating the oven to 450 Fahrenheit. Why? Because we're in America and Celsius doesn't make sense to us. Is that a bald eagle I hear? No, it's my tinnitus acting up again because I shot the fireworks off into my ear last 4th of July. What? All right, next take out an ordinary no-nonsense bowl, fill it with one entire stick of butter or half cup if a stick isn't really your butter shape of choice, and we're done. Okay, now let's use our microwave powers to turn this butter into, by the power of science, melted butter and chocolate. About six ounces mixed together and incorporated well. You're gonna use a high quality chocolate bar because apparently semi-sweet chocolate chips don't work. In another bowl, just beat it and by it, I mean two whole eggs and two egg yolks with a quarter cup of sugar and a pinch or two of salt until they are thick and pale, just like the low hanging fruit of the comedy tree. All right, at this point, you've made a significant mess and probably have a lot of dishes to do, so let's put them all into one single bowl and start folding so that they can come together a little bit. Once they're really starting to come together, we're gonna fold in two tablespoons of flour until it's just barely incorporated. Silky and smooth like the velvet drapes I bought myself with my tax refund. I am fancy, thank you for noticing. Okay, now for ramekins, and if you don't have them, you can do mini versions in a muffin tin. It'll bake basically the same, just, you know, do it for less time. For these ramekins though, we're gonna grease them up with a little bit of butter and dust with a little bit of cocoa powder so the motion of the ocean is free like willy. Someday I will stop alienating different core audiences, but not today, Zerg. Toy Story reference. Pour the batter into the ramekins until just under halfway-ish or whatever, so that's the ideal amount of cake probably. Then it's into the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. But always check them out sooner rather than later, because you can avoid my idiot sandwich moment, which got me kicked off not one but three different baking competitions from the years 2014 to 2022. See, this business comes out just fine, and it cleans up nice, oh yeah, it really does, but well, yeah, there's no lava. Okay, it's overcooked. Instead, here's a picture of one that I did a little bit later where the lava was molten and as things should have been. If it doesn't burn your mouth, it's not a successful dessert, as my mentor used to say. I feel powerful because I have eaten lava. And you can too if you do this recipe. Want to see me cook something special for you and your sweetie? Let me know in the comments. I might just whip you up a little treat, which you can use to pretend like you knew what you were doing the whole time. Like me. Goodbye.